Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral service for Carl Harvey Collier, age 59, of Birmingham, will be at noon at Cullman Heritage Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will be in Flint Creek Cemetery. Visitation will be 11 to noon at Cullman Heritage Funeral Home. Funeral service for Melba Ruth Henson, age 79, of Cullman, will be this afternoon at 3 p.m. at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Interment will be in Cullman Memory Gardens at a later date. Visitation will be 1 to 3 at Moss Service Funeral Home. Funeral service for James Edwin J.J. Johnson, age 71, of Hayden, will be this morning at 11 o'clock at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will be in Sacred Heart Catholic Cemetery. Funeral service for Fred S. Steep, age 62, of Baileyton, will be tomorrow, Saturday, at 2 p.m. at Idson Chapel Presbyterian Church. Mr. Steep will lie in state for one hour prior to service. Interment will be in the church cemetery. Visitation will be this evening from 5.30 to 9 at Moss Service Funeral Home. Funeral service for Royston Crane, R.C. Nunn, age 104 of Hayden, will be tomorrow, Saturday at 2 p.m. at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will be in Sugar Creek Cemetery. Visitation will be tomorrow from 11.30 to 2 at Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral service for Margaret Vincent, age 92, of Hansville, will be Sunday at 2 at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel. Visitation will be tomorrow evening, Saturday, 5.30 to 9 at Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral service for Reverend Clennon Jr. Shedd, age 76, of Coleman, will be Tuesday at 2 p.m. at Lystra Baptist Church. Reverend Shedd will lie in state from 10 to 2 at the church. Interment will be in Bethlehem or be in Bethel Methodist Church Cemetery. Visitation will be Monday evening, 5.30 to 9 at Coleman Funeral Home. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Bank presents today on two right here in Coleman, Alabama on this kind of rainy day today. Kind of rainy, kind of foggy. Kind of foggy. Kind of yucky. Uh, yeah, but nothing wrong with that. It doesn't it's feel okay. terrible outside. Oh yeah, it's not, you know, freezing. It's not, yeah, or really hot. It, yeah, it's a nice medium, so the, I'll take the rain. I will take the rain. It, it, um, it, it's supposed to actually, it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days. Really? So let's go ahead and start off today with the weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. The Almanac for March the 20th looks a little bit like this. The high 66 degrees, 
the record being set at 86 degrees in 1921, the average low 43 degrees with the record being set at 14 degrees in 1934, sunset tonight at 6.58 a.m., sunrise tomorrow at 6.50 6.48 p.m. obviously, yes. sunrise at 6.50 a.m. There's a look at the southeast radar for everyone. There you can see the rain making its way into northern Alabama. Uh, there are scattered showers for today, the high of 66. Uh, the overnight low will be 48 degrees. Tomorrow warming up just a little bit to 69 degrees, still with a 60% chance of rain. Into the weekend, looks like that rain comes in on Sunday and is headed out of here on a Monday morning. Uh, highs in the 60s, warming up midweek, 69 degrees, with more rain headed in for next, next weekend. weekend. So it is a uh, um, rainy forecasted week. We it have, is. It um, is, but it's March. But it's in March. Alabama. Yeah. So, so nobody's really surprised by that. Yeah, I'm not surprised, and you never know. So oh yeah, it, it'll it'll probably rain from now till April. Our luck. <laughs> Probably, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> with that. We have a uh, Facebook friend of the day, so let's go ahead and talk about her. Our Facebook friend today is Miss Becky Nelms, and she likes Alaskan Bush people and Williams Barbecue. Thank you so much for being our Facebook friend. We are going to give you a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, and you can just come here by the station and pick up that certificate on your way. Absolutely. We uh, And we also like to talk about something uh, that is interesting that has happened on this day in history. So <laughs> on this day, back on March the uh, 13th, in the year eight and seven, uh, March 20th. the twentieth. Man, I'm a week behind. You are a week. Are you a whole week behind? 1760. The Great Fire in Boston, Massachusetts, destroyed 349 buildings. It burned for 12 hours. Wow. Over 79 million dollars in damage. Um, it was caused in the basement of a building because there was they they built buildings very, really like faulty mm -hmm. like and because there was a uh, they, they overinsured the buildings. A lot of times, uh, arson like was it was a big a thing big because they could collect they collected a lot of money off mm -hmm. of that. So um, so yeah, twelve hours of just wow. devastation, and they finally got it put out. And you know, back then there wasn't like fire trucks, and I mean there mm -hmm. were fire trucks, but mm -hmm. they weren't Not, like what they weren't you as efficient. Consider. As what we had. Yeah, and it was more like buckets of water. You yeah, know, that they were trying to put it out. Yeah, with. you really relied heavily on your citizens for exactly, that. Exactly. Exactly. And there were there were I think it, it said there were there were over thirty people killed, and um, thousands lost their homes and jobs uh, wow. because of it. So, hopefully, wow. nothing like that happens uh, anytime soon here. Hopefully, <laughs> you know? yes, hopefully not. That is a that is a lot of uh, damage to to be done to a community. But the, what was cool was that they got, I think they like very immediately got back on uh, uh they rebuilt that part of the city oh, okay so Maybe it, was, it was with more structural integrity yeah, than hopefully with the yeah hopefully time. hopefully it was they uh, <laughs> yeah the, the thing was was because of the faulty building like gas lines were liable to like burst mm -hmm. and like and like explode and so businesses would you know go up so it gave them more of an alibi to just yeah. say oh my building's on fire <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, now I get a million dollars. <laughs> um, we have a, uh, a fun guest lined up for today. Tell us about our yes, guest. Yes, Miss Stephanie Wood is here, and she is with the United Way of Coleman. So we're going to awesome. be, uh, she's, uh, only, you've only been in the position for, for a little while now. So we're going to meet her, talk with her, and see what's up with United Way. Good deal. Well, we're going to meet with her right after this first break, so don't go away. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. 
Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Miss Stephanie Wood is the marketing director over at the United Way of Coleman, and she hasn't been there very long. Good morning, Miss Stephanie. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about your job over at the United Way. The best way that I can sum up what I do at United Way is to fundraise. Right. <laughs> um, after all, United Way, we basically are the fundraiser for 14 different agencies mm -hmm. um, so that they can spend the time dedicating towards whatever charity uh, work that they're doing so they don't have to worry about fundraising. We're the ones that do the fundraising for them. Oh. So in, in the most generic sure. uh, words, that's what I do. And so tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you said you're not originally from here, but Correct. this is... Um, you majored in public relations and, and Spanish. Yes, correct. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and your um, education and that kind of thing. Yes, so I'm from Homewood, Alabama, which is in Birmingham. Okay. And I went to the University of Alabama, which is where I met my husband, Andrew Wood. He's from Coleman. Um, so me, we met when we were 19, and um, we got married, moved to Coleman, and so that's where I am now. Okay. That's, well, uh, so, like, you guys are always having events over at the United yes. Way. So tell us about some of the events that you guys have coming up. Coming up, the most, uh, the next event is going to be April 28th, which is our annual meeting. This is not necessarily a fundraiser, but it's a chance to be transparent to the community and let right. them know where their money is going, how it's affecting our agencies, and basically just giving them a chance to come and hear what we've done in the past year. We had a $400,000 goal over the past year. The last time I checked the numbers, it was at 381, I believe. Okay. So um, we still have a little bit ways to go and only about two weeks to get there, but Possible. we're close, yes. Um, so we'll be presenting those numbers and everything at the annual meeting. Okay. okay, and you said there's also an event coming up in April? the Our young professionals. That, well, April 28th is the annual meeting. Oh, it's the meeting. Okay. And then we just launched our first ever Young Professionals Board, okay. which, is a, which is a chance for young professionals sure. from the ages of 22 to 35 to apply to be on our board. We're taking a minimum of nine, maximum of 20, and they get a chance to do charity work, to meet other business professionals, just to grow their resume while investing time in Teen Niner Way. So we're really excited about it, mm -hmm. and um, anyone can apply online at uacc.org. And um, yeah, we're really excited about it. We think it'll be really great for you. Are there way. any are there any special qualifications that somebody has to have before they apply for that? There are not. Um, you know, we're just looking for people that obviously the Young Professionals Board is a benefit to United Way. Mm -hmm. It gives us a foot in the door in various areas. So we would hope that people that would apply would would be working in right. businesses in Coleman. Mm -hmm. That would really be the only thing, the only real stipulation. But other than that, no, it's pretty open. Okay. okay. So where does the money get? Like, I, I know this is something you, you guys will talk about, but what yeah. are some of the general things that United Way helps to fund, I guess you could say? Yeah. Um, so we, so 98% of every, all the money that goes to United Way stays in Coleman County. Mm -hmm. uh, United Way is a worldwide organization right. so we do have to donate a little bit mm -hmm. to state and uh, worldwide but 98 percent stays in Coleman that we service 14 different agencies victim services is a wonderful agency they work mm -hmm. with victims of um, violent uh, rape right. violence assault things like that mm -hmm. um, Coleman caring for kids they have a food right. bank mm -hmm. that our money specifically goes towards they feed okay. I, I walked in there one day and he I think we were it was about two o'clock and he had already had 40 people come through his door in wow. one day wow. so um, so yeah it, it's really a wide range we shelter homeless through our agencies mm -hmm. um, even the 4-H club the Girl okay. Scouts things like that so it's a very big, a very broad um, group awesome. of people that we reach. 
So can anybody, I guess, anybody can donate, right? How, yes. how are, what are some ways that people can donate to you? I mean, if it's not just like a specific function where you guys are fundraising, like can they donate online or can they donate in person? Or Yes, yeah, so you can donate online at uacc.org, which is UA, like, is okay. in United Way. Gotcha. <laughs> um, <laughs> not UA. <laughs> um, so you can donate there. You can come visit us in the office. We are located in the old train depot next to the Fest Hall. Okay. So if you just want to pop in and give sure. us a chance, we will not uh, reject <laughs> that. <laughs> yes, and um, and we try to do payroll deductions through different businesses. Mm -hmm. So if you have a business that you would be interested in letting us come and speak about what we do, and then offering payroll deductions to your employees, they can donate throughout the entire year. Okay. So that's one of the best ways right. that we are able to raise funds. Okay, awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for meeting with us this morning, and uh, we hope that everybody will go out and donate and mm -hmm. support Definitely. United Way. I, I know I. I I actually had no idea you guys were involved with so many different yeah. uh, organizations like that, but that's really cool. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Miss yes, Stephanie. thank you for having me. Everybody stay tuned because right after this uh, next commercial break, we're going to come back and do our merchant ad segment. We'll see you in a second. In the nation... The safest feature in your car is you. Add Vanishing Deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off for every year of safe driving. Just another way we put members first, because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Newton. Call us today and let us tailor our loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Welcome back to the show. This is the part of the show where we like to give away a couple of things. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're giving away today. We have a haircut by hair, from Hair by Loretta. We have a day pass for admission to one to Hurricane Creek Park. And a day pass for six to the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. So we have a great roundup of prizes. Let's go ahead and take a look at our merchant ads this morning. Of course, we'll ask you about one of these ads. Earl's Body Shop was voted Best Automotive Repair in Coleman. They have large and small towing available, and they are located on Highway 31 North in Coleman. Steel Orchard offers you the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. You can check out their baked items. They're located on County Road 1141. That is Steel Orchard. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, featuring the family barbecue package. It's a pound of meat, two 16 outsides, and four buns located inside the Berlin Quick Stop. Go see Mad Dog Mike today. Chesley Oaks Golf Course is an 18-hole golf course. It's located in the Fairview area. They offer a full practice facility, beautifully manicured bent grass greens, and four sets of tees to suit golfers of all abilities. That's Chesley Oaks Golf Course. Done right taxes and bookkeeping services by appointment, walk-in, drop-off, personal and business, taxes, payroll, bookkeeping, located on 9th Avenue Southwest in Coleman. BeFit is a fitness facility in downtown Coleman. They're located next to Renard's Gallery, and they're running a $50 special, so it's $50 month to month. There's no contract, and that $50 gives you also a free personal trainer. Looking for something to do for the entire family this spring? March 21st, they can learn to play lacrosse. That is tomorrow, um, so go out and learn to play lacrosse. It's for children and adults. Birthday and special occasion ice cream cakes are available at Dairy Queen. They're 
come in 8 inch round sizes and 12 inch round sizes so you can serve you know 8 to 15 people depending on the sizes with a Dairy Queen ice cream cake. There you go. That is the first round of our merchant ads here on the show. Our number four seven three four seven three nine nine. Our question today is uh, it's kind of a Where's Waldo question. Okay. Uh, tell us where you can find <laughs> Sunny Stacy, Beth or Jim. And not Waldo. Have, not Waldo. Yeah, Sunny Stacy, Beth, and Jim. <laughs> and they have been longtime uh, advertisers here on the show, mm -hmm. and so we want you to call in and tell us where you can find them. Call Sunny yeah. Stacy, Beth, or Jim is, uh, is kind of what their advertisement says. Mm -hmm. So think about it. Give us a call while we take a look at Money Matters. It's brought to you by Premier Bank. Hi, I'm Caitlin with Premier Bank, and this is Allison Lewis. She's our Good Hope Office Manager. Today, Allison's going to tell us a little bit about what it takes to get a car loan. I want to talk to the young people out there who are approaching their 16th birthday and they're thinking about purchasing their first car. One thing that you may not know is that most institutions do require a down payment, which is a percentage of the purchase price paid in cash by you. And the more your vehicle costs, the more your down payment's going to be. So as you approach your 16th birthday, be thinking about how you can save your money so that you'll be prepared to pay your down payment. If you have any questions, you can stop by her Good Hope office and see Allison, or you can come by any of our other eight locations or give us a call at 256-737-9900. Thanks, and we hope to see you soon. All right, I don't think we have any callers today. Because so nobody could figure out where Waldo nobody, was. Nobody could remember where Waldo was. And that's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second round of our merchant ads, and maybe you'll find him. <laughs> Mullins Body Shop, where you have counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and service. You can count on them today, and there's Waldo. Call Sunny, Stacy, Beth, or Jim, the number at the bottom of the screen, Mullins Body Shop. Pizza Head of Coleman offers an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet every day from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and it's only $5.99. They also offer a Sunday night buffet from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. That is Pizza Hut of Coleman. Dad's Bookstore is your hometown bookstore just down the road. Browsers are welcome. Used books half price every day. New books are 20% off every day. Gift certificates are also available at Dad's Bookstore. Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store offers a complete espresso bar with specialty coffee and bulk teas. Their live music schedule is right there. Tonight is featuring the band Behind the Times, which is a country pop bluegrass band at Berkeley Bob's. Cotton St. Barnes, you can buy or rent to own. No credit check, you are approved. Barnes starting at $14.96. Carports, play sets, utility trailers, and storage buildings located on 278 West past I-65. Grand Point Pharmacy now offers Dippin' Dots ice cream. They have two for $5. Their flavors include birthday cake, cotton candy, rainbow, banana split cookies and cream, and more at Grand Point Pharmacy. Tires for less, oil changes, minor engine repair, shocks, brakes, and alignments. They offer more than just tires, although they do feature the tire seam there. Mr. Hicks Menswear and Formal Wear is Coleman's only men's specialty store for suits and for sport coats. It is prom season in full swing, guys. If you haven't ordered your tux yet, and I hope for your sake that you have, uh. go by Mr. Hicks Menswear. Hair by Loretta, she is your color specialist, hair care for the whole family. She offers color, highlights, body waves, straightening, waxing, spa pedicures. She has a new, lo new location in Bella Fair. Liberty Tax Service offers two locations, uh, one in Coleman and one on Main Street in Hansville. They offer products and tax service with real benefits, and you can make your appointment today with Liberty Tax Service. All right, those are our merchant ads right here on the show. And don't go away because right after this break, we're going to come back and tell you about some stuff going on in the community. So we'll see you in a second. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sauteing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That changed my life. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. We're soldiers, always ready to protect our country. But we've also got communities. Family, friends, neighbors who count on us. I couldn't believe it. 
I just saved a life to somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Fire. Accident. Storm. They all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Our community billboards are brought to you today by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart Church is offering a wellness fair tomorrow from 2.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the Sacred Heart Gym. You can take control of your health. They're offering prizes, giveaways, refreshments, and more. They're also offering free health screenings from St. Vincent's. There's a men's conference tomorrow at The Loft 212. It starts at 8.30 and it goes through noon. It is free admission. It's featuring dynamic speakers discussing the importance of men in the home, the workplace, and our culture. The speakers are Chad Williams, a retired Navy SEAL, and John Croyle from Big Oak Ranch. The MS Walk for Coleman will be at Heritage Park on March 28th at 9 a.m. You can call Deborah Bauer for more information at 256-457-5618. The annual Berlin Community Easter Egg Hunt, sponsored by the Berlin Sunshine Club, will also be Saturday, March 28th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Berlin Community Center. Children must be 12 and under to participate, and if they're 6 and under, they ask that you um, ha have them some adult supervision. Coleman Parks and Recreation is offering a father-son night out at Heritage Park and a mother-daughter pajama party at the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center on April 1st from 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. You can call 256 734-9157 to register. A sunrise service to celebrate the resurrection will be at 6.30 a.m. on April 5th at Ave Maria Grotto and it's hosted by the Coleman Ministerial Association. Oil State Theatre presents Into the Woods on April 9th, 10th, and 11th at 7 p.m. and April 12th at 2 p.m. Tickets are $10. You can see any cast members such as Joel or myself or you can call the Prayer Center front desk for tickets and it will be in the Betty Lee Haynes Theatre. And it's cookout time. The 10th annual Colton's Cookout for a Cure will be Saturday, April 11th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Werner's Trading Company. It's, um, it is $7 a plate. It's a barbecue sandwich and chips or a deep fried hot dog and fries. And all proceeds will go to the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life. And if you'd like to share a community award with us, you can visit us on the web at channel2coleman.com. You can email us at channel2coleman at gmail.com. Call us at 256-734-7399 or like us on Facebook and our, on our Facebook page, which is Channel 2 Coleman. We'd like to wish a happy birthday to Joey Shear and Trent Lowry. And we'd like to wish a happy birthday yesterday to Isaiah Hill and Sam Hill. We'd like to wish a happy birthday tomorrow to Jessica Appel. And happy birthday on Sunday to Joey West and Diane Morgan. Of course, all those names are going to be put into the drawing to win our ice cream cake from Dairy Queen that we give away, which is going to happen in just a second. And we've had several anniversaries this week. Um, happy anniversary today or uh, tomorrow to Richard and Ginger Quinn. And on Saturday to LD and Janice Cadle. And of course, they're going to be registered <coughs> for the drawing to win the $15 gift certificate from the Candle Garden. Let's go ahead and do that drawing for the birthday cake winner from Dairy Queen. And our winner is going to be da -da -da -da. Leanne West. All right. Happy and birthday. her birthday was earlier in the week on Tuesday, mm -hmm. I believe. Happy birthday to you. Come on down and get that certificate for the birthday cake. Mm -hmm. And let's do the anniversary. anniversary. Happy anniversary, Richard and Ginger Quinn. All right. That is uh, tomorrow, I believe. Tomorrow. Right? Mm -hmm. So, happy anniversary to you guys. Uh, don't forget, if you have a birthday coming up or if you have an anniversary, you can post it on our Facebook or email it to us, and mm -hmm. we will put it on our, uh, I guess, 
calendar and, put, and, calendar and put you in the drawing. So uh, don't forget to do that. Let's take one last look at weather today. Of course, brought to you by Mitch Schmidt's Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Today, we're going to have a high of 67 degrees with a 50% chance of rain. The overnight low, 48 degrees, although that rain that gets out of here, I think I'm pretty sure, but the worst of it's done for today. Tomorrow, warming up to 69 degrees uh, with a 60% chance of rain. So, we hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Until next week, from all of us here at Channel 2, have a great day.